Good, so we want to shift gears a bit now to the Technoculture uh, Innovation Residency Awards recipient. Um, the three on tap are the Philadelphia Young Playwrights, the Christchurch Preservation Trust, and the Tiny Dynamite Productions. And here to set the stage for us are Ivy Silver, the founder of Sparkplug Innovations and chair of the Technoculture Committee, and Michael Norris, Vice President of External Relations at the Cultural Alliance. Ivy and Michael. Thanks, Paul. So we launched um, Technoculture last year during Philly Tech Week with a TED-like showcase of nine collaborations between cultural organizations and technology companies. And it was a really inspiring morning event, even for our techie friends who showed up in early morning. Um, but a big takeaway from that event itself was that many cultural organizations often viewed technology with predetermined outcomes in mind. So for example, we found out that people would say, let's build an app without fully comprehending the process that might be involved that needed to be articulated or explored. We also know that there was, that success in integration could be limited with tech-focused solutions that might not actually fit the organization's culture, operations, or programming. So we heard from small cultural organizations after this event that in particular, that they struggled with a lack of resources and a capacity to innovate using technology. Uh, and with those learnings in mind, uh, just a few weeks after the inaugural event, last summer we launched the Technoculture Innovation Residency Awards with funds raised from last year's program. Uh, the awards provided micro-grants to match three small cultural organizations, meaning organizations with less than a million dollar annual budget with technologists. The residencies enabled the technologists to lead the organization through a discovery process to explore possible responses or solutions to a specific challenge or question the organization itself had posed in its residency application. So nearly 30 organizations actually applied for the residency award. And in September, we convened a cross-section panel of experts, see up here, to select the three organizations to host those residencies. And the panel was looking for interesting challenges and problems, but equally as important was the organization's openness to question its assumptions and explore innovative solutions. And as you are gonna soon see, the three organizations, Philadelphia Young Playwrights, Christchurch Preservation Trust, and Tiny Dynamite, entered the residency at very different stages of their discovery and design process. This was a deliberate choice on our part, and we wanted to explore how the process and learning outcomes varied depending on the organization's actual starting point. The residencies took place through the fall and winter, and on March 24th, we convened the three residency teams at the University City Science Center for a half-day design challenge. This session was facilitated by Natalie Nixon, the director of the Strategic Design MBA program at Philadelphia University, and who's one of our judges today. Um, in addition to the technologists and representatives from the three residency organizations, the Cultural Alliance recruited outside individuals to serve on the design challenge teams. These people had skills or experiences that we thought were relevant to that organization's situation or had, or had been identified by our advisory committee as smart strategic thinkers who would expand the organization's perspective by um, asking disruptive questions or really challenging their uh, assumptions. And the design challenge also gave an opportunity for the teams to connect with and learn from each other. So it brings us here today. And in just a few moments, you're gonna hear directly from each of the organizations as well as the technologists about how the residency and the design challenge itself might have helped them to better understand not just the specific problem that they told us that they were trying to solve, but also the conditions themselves that made or didn't make for a successful process of collaboration and innovation. 
Uh, so the three organizations today will present to you and a panel of judges who will then deliberate briefly to determine the winner. And as Maud mentioned at the beginning, uh, the winning, the judges winning organization will, thanks to the Barra Foundation, receive a $20,000 grant to um, iterate their idea to the next level. Um, and that organization will also receive $5,000 in pro bono legal services from uh, Morgan Lewis. The two runners up will each receive a $10,000 grant from Barra. And while the judges are deliberating, you all sitting in this room will be able to vote on an audience award winner as well. And that organization will receive a $1,000 cash prize sponsored by the University City Science Center. So the criteria which the judges are going to use to evaluate the projects and the presentations and which you, the audience, might think about in your own judging of the um, criteria are innovation and creativity. This really should not feel like business as usual. Is the organization taking a risk or deviating from their established norms? The learning, did the organization understand and value the role of design thinking and iteration as a means of discovery and learning? Does the organization learning seem permanent or transitory? An impact, does the solution address the stated problem and have the potential to create, to scale up within the organization or to be replicated at other organizations? Is it achievable and is it sustainable? Uh, and now I would like to uh, introduce our six awesome judges for today who are sitting here in our third row. Uh, they are uh, Jessica Berwind, who's the managing trustee of Berwind, uh, Jeffrey Bodel, who's a partner at Morgan Lewis and Bacchius, Kendra Brill at uh, De Simone Group Investments, Dave Elderkin, uh, who's a board member at Chariot Solutions, Brendan Lowry, the marketing director at Curlate, who some of you might remember from last year's Techniculture, uh, and Natalie Nixon, as I mentioned, um, the associate professor and director of the Des Des Strategic Design MBA program uh, at Philadelphia University.